address that in just a moment. Uh, cities can provide recreation, cities do provide recreational opportunities to their residents and guests to improve the livability of their communities, the health of their citizens, and even as a means of economic development. Until a recent court ruling, citizens and other landowners that allowed people to recreate on their land free of charge did so with immunity from tort liability. The immunity allowed for the development of skate parks, climbing walls, BMX tracks, whitewater rafting opportunities, and so forth to be developed without fear of costly lawsuits. However, a recent Oregon Supreme Court ruled that employees, agents, and possibly volunteers can be sued for injuries that occur during recreation. This new liability has caused cities and other property owners to reassess their parks, trails, and other recreational facilities. The city of Redmond has been forced to close down a particular climbing facility. I'm going to do a quick sidebar here for you. Um, obviously, as a mayor of Redmond, I'm well familiar with this one. Um, we had the uh, Smith Rocks, which I think many of you know is a world-class climbing uh, venue in the state of Oregon, right outside my city. And the uh, gentleman called the, the mayor of Smith Rock, he's a world-class climber, came to the city and we recently built a new bridge across a canyon that has arches in it. He asked to actually build an arch climbing facility. There are six in the world. One of them is in Redmond, Oregon. And it was recognized by the Climbing World magazine as one of the top sites to go to recreate, not only because of Smith Rock, but because of this climbing facility. When the Supreme Court law passed, we contact our insurance agents <coughs> and our liability would have gone from from, uh, or I'm sorry, our, our uh, uh, cost of insurance would have gone from $5,000 a year and a $50,000 deductible to $157,000 a year and a $100,000 deductible out of the general fund. We couldn't do it. We had to shut it down. And plus, the, you know, the liability. So that's Redmond's story. And if you read the Willamette Week, the, it's in there today. Pilot Rock will not be able to operate their motocross track. Cities have canceled plans for BMX parks. Volunteer groups that participated with cities to construct park features may now find themselves subject to liability that was once inconceivable. Senate Bill 327 includes employees and other agents in those who enjoy immunity from the costly tort actions of the League and the League of Oregon Cities and urges its swift package. I will now turn the podium back over to Mike who will discuss our fourth priority.